my name is Alok Wadwa. I am a food writer as a hobby and also run a, a Facebook group called Durga Foodie. What I am doing today is cooking a childhood favorite dish of mine called Embassy Mutton. My father was in the civil services which required living a lot in districts and my mother had to make do with the ingredients for any big party involving his seniors. And those days uh, a party involving seniors always had what is called continental food which was basically food from the Raj, some remnant from the Raj and so this dish is what I have known always as a continental dish while making it. We eat oil in a curry and we chop onions, uh, we uh, slice them and then we chop them into two uh, for this dish because uh, that's how my mother believes the best taste of uh, onions come out. So I'm putting this in. Now these onions have to be medium brown, not overcooked, not deep brown. Now we will, uh, we have shut the fire and we will let this cool down before we add flour to it, atta. So now the oil is cooled a bit and so are the onions. So I will be adding flour to it, a uh, whole, whole big flour. Uh, the idea of cooling it is to make sure there are no lumps, lump formation while uh, making what could be a kind of a white sauce. Now I am switching on the gas and I will roast this a bit then let it cool again before I put milk into it. I am now adding cold milk, a stone milk to the mixture which already has onions Now I am switching on the fire again. I am gradually warming up this mixture before I add mutton stock to it. I am thickening, once it thickens to a consistency which is thicker than white sauce, then I have to shut it, let it cool a bit and add mutton stock. This is half a kilo of uh, mutton from the front leg of the goat. It has been uh, boiled and this is the stock that you separated. This mutton has been boiled with uh, ginger, with the whole black pepper and with cinnamon. We have retained the ginger and the whole black pepper but we have thrown away the cinnamon. Now we take the whole leg of the lamb, of the front leg of the goat because that is softer meat and also has marrow which enriches the stock. This has come to a boil and I am adding the mutton pieces along with the ginger and black pepper. Now this is on simmer and I am adding tomato sauce. This is 3 tablespoons of tomato sauce which are going into this. This is plain tomato sauce, not any other sauce. Also adding a little bit of butter just to give it a flavor and a creamy texture. The dish is now again coming to a boil. We are almost ready. At this stage I will be putting 2 chopped tomatoes and some green chili. After cooking it for 2 minutes further, the dish is done. You don't have to cook the tomatoes.